In tonight's edition of 7 Up Front, we want to dive deeper into the coronavirus crisis. Uh, starting with the Omicron variant, we're going to go back to a medical executive of our state, Dr. Natasha Bagdasarian. Uh, doctor, thank you for hanging with us. Do you know of any cases of Omicron variant, any more cases here? No cases of Omicron in our state so far, uh, but that means that we haven't picked it up yet. We know that it's circulating in other places in the country, and chances are that it will be here if it is not here already. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, and do we have a plan going forward? Is it the booster? You know, throughout this pandemic, we've really used layered mitigation strategies. And now in preparation for the Omicron variant, it's going to take layered mitigation strategies again and layered levels of preparation. One of the things I'd like to really stress to your viewers tonight is that we have the tools. We have the tools to prepare for this variant. We've got vaccines, we've got rapid tests, and then we've got all of the other strategies that we've been using throughout, like masks and distancing and ventilation. And it's really time to use all of those layered mitigation strategies in preparation for Omicron. Boosters are just one of those strategies. And so with the near record COVID hospitalizations, you know, flu season, all of this, I mean, what is your assessment of the situation? You know, are we gonna be able to handle this? It's very concerning. We are at case rates right now that are um, nearing levels at other surges we've had during this pandemic. Um, our hospitals are overwhelmed. They are over capacity. They are calling for help. We've had to bring in resources from our federal partners. And this is not a great time for Michigan to face a more transmissible variant. And it's still hard to believe that we're a national hotspot now. Um, as we head into the holidays, what are your biggest concerns? You know, my concerns are that we are already in a place where healthcare is stretched really thin. We're already at a place where there's widespread community transmission. Now with the holidays, we're expecting people to gather more indoors. We're expecting the cold weather to bring people indoors. And we know that people have not been using masks and other mitigation strategies as well as they were last year and at other times during the pandemic. So what I'm concerned about is that we will face Omicron with such high case rates that we simply, our healthcare systems won't be able to withstand more cases. Um, and so what I really would like to do is call upon our communities to use those mitigation strategies and primarily do something with our vaccination rate and our rate of getting boosters. This is really the time that people need to get vaccinated and to get boosted, not only for their own health, but for the sake of their communities, their loved ones, and then for the sake of our state. And try to make personal protection a part of your life, really. All right. Absolutely. Doc, thank you, doctor. We appreciate you hanging with us. Thank you for answering our questions tonight. Thank you so much for having me on. Okay, Dave.